We also have the ability to scale our designs up or down as needed within Shaper 3D. And this again, a very nice and simple process. I go into my transform tools and just below my move rotate tool, I have a scale tool. And the scale tool, again, very easy to use. I can select any item to scale. Similarly, I could tap to select a single face and I could scale any single face or sketch or edge I might need. Or in this case, if I like to scale up or down my entire 3D design, I'd want to do a, a double tap of my 3D design and then just pull on my scale tab here and increase or decrease my scaling as needed. Of course, I can also specify my exact scaling. So maybe I'd like this to be 150% scaling. So this will be 1.5 times larger than my original design. Also notice I have that same pivot point for my scaling. So I can move my pivot point and I'll throw it on the hub over here and scale again. And now notice I'm scaling about that particular pivot point. And scaling my objects like this can be really useful in say 3D printing, for example, if we just want to print out a, a smaller or larger model of something. And then of course, once I'm happy with my scaling, I can just tap on the done check mark. And now I've scaled my product up or down as needed. We can also use the scale tool in the exact same way on specific faces or edges of an object. So for example, here, I'll go to my transform tool, scale, and I can tap on just this face and scale this up or down as I may need. Now let's scale this down, for example, and notice I have a, a quite a different shape coming here. And just the same, we can do this with edges as well. So perhaps I tap to select this edge and scale down or up this particular edge. So as we can see, we can actually create some fairly complex shapes and designs by making use of the scale tool as well.